Hey everybody, welcome to another video. I'm, uh, I just filled up the sprayer that I'm in right now, uh, 4940. I think in the last video I mentioned I was going to try doing liquid uh, fertilizer application as I previously tried doing manure spreading and I just wanted to see how this would work out. So I went ahead and purchased this 4940 uh, with the spray, spray attachment um, and I uh, wanted to see how far uh, one pallet of the fertilizer would spread uh, for the field I'm going to be spreading in uh, just to see uh, how, how long that lasts. Uh, I know I need to put down quite a bit of nitrogen so I'm just going to experiment real quick. Uh, so things have greened up since my last video. Uh, it looks so much better uh, now that we're in uh, another day of spring here and the canola has popped. Uh, which is which is nice. Um, so I'm a little hesitant to drive through the field, but um, with this, I have a pretty far reach, so I shouldn't have to make too many passes through the field. And uh, yeah, so we're just going to see how it goes. And I am going to be uh, I'm going to set up GPS. This is the first time I've used this boom sprayer. I've done mostly dry fertilizer spraying in the past, so uh, this is new to me, and I'm gonna try and uh, get the GPS system working and also see how it's gonna work with the uh, automatic rate, spray rate that I also have. Um, so it's just gonna be a little bit of a stick a uh, minute or two here to get things set up. Well, I love how this thing unfolds. It's uh, <laughs> it's got a pretty far reach. And also this uh, particular model, uh, you can uh, really fine tune how the booms are positioned. You can angle one up and one down, which I don't know if you can do that with every single sprayer in the, in the sim. Um, this one's a mod, so uh, it's got the capability to do that. Uh, so I'm just gonna I gotta get a little closer to. Uh, well, first I gotta figure out what the uh, GPS system is gonna want to do here. So it's gonna ask me to load a track, and that means I'm gonna have to. Uh, let me just try that out real quick. Because usually this thing, so I'm going to try this real quick, make sure, you know, <laughs> look our width is 100, okay, so 117 feet wide is the boom. Uh, I'm just going to try this out real quick. We have, okay, we have a little A. get into generating the uh, route for me. Okay, so that was pretty easy. <laughs> let's, uh, okay, let's get back up here. So it's just going to have me go in a straight line I'm um, going to let's see, get my menu up here. I'm going to lower the boom now. That's, that is the lowest that we'll go right now. Okay. And just want to get a little okay, in the field. And I want to, so our automatic, oh, it hasn't detected the uh, rate that we need to spray yet. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now it's now our menu is showing nitro the uh, nitrogen level. So it's going to increase to the optimal level. For oh, look at that. Okay, it's going to, I'm just reading the fine text there under the green bar with the finished uh, checkered flag. 
we're going to increase nitrogen level for particularly canola and silty clay, so that's perfect. So I'm just going to leave it on the automatic rate because it's going to adjust as we go over the map here. And I'll show you. So this is what we're looking at right now. So as you can see, it, it more or less looks the same color, but there is a subtle difference in between, you know, it's like a darker red or a lighter red. So as we go over the field, it's going to adjust uh, the rate that we're going to need. Um, so yeah, just experimenting here. It's, oops, my clock is running fast again. Okay. <laughs> I just noticed that, whatever I was doing the whole time. Okay, uh, so we're ready to roll. It's down, oh, and I'm gonna lower my speed here a little bit. I'm gonna adjust that on the fly. I think that's all I wanna, yeah, this is all I need to adjust. Okay, let's turn this thing on. Excellent. And as you can see on the map, uh, on the lower left hand side of the screen it is changing the rate as we go or change yeah the colors changing is what I meant um, and I am not steering this is automated steering so the uh, sprayer is driving itself at the moment uh, which is just going to be in a straight line which um, I'm going to have to just turn it around at the end of the field and uh, that'll be interesting too, I just realized, hold on, is when I do the border of the field, if it's going to, uh, shut off individual nozzles, um, so to make sure I don't double spray, if I turn it on now, yeah. Oh, this thing looks pretty sweet. I wasn't sure if I was going to... Uh, I wasn't sure how this was going to go and also if I was going to end up liking this, but this actually works pretty well. I just don't like doing liquid nitrogen because um, it's not my favorite fertilizer product to use. I like to use something like you know manure or... On my California farm, I've got a plant that uh, processes compost into dry, dry uh, fertilizer. Um, so, but uh, this is working pretty well so far. I'm just watching the uh, amount of liquid fertilizer in the tank. Um, okay. okay. Turn around again. So I don't know if you've seen in my other videos uh, using the GPS system. <laughs> I'm not used to the track being so wide. I'm usually in a planter, uh, so it's kind of funny how wide this uh, track is. But uh, yeah, unfortunately, so it doesn't look like it's that uh, that precise. Like it's spraying the road, which I don't want to do. Um, so. That's fine. I'm getting the majority of the field, so this is working pretty well. Um, but when I go to do the border, I might be double spraying. I'll have to see how that works. I know in real life, of course, that the sprayers are advanced enough to, you know, not over, not double spray, or it'll shut off the individual nozzles if you cross over a path you already sprayed. So I'm just wondering if it would do that in this uh, in this sim. So, but. Uh, going pretty well and I'm still got a little bit of fertilizer left I'm not burning through it completely so this is uh, going pretty well so far I think and I think eventually I might have to try out uh, fertilizing while planting you know using the fertilizer boxes uh, on the planters themselves uh, to reduce the amount of trips I'm going in the field. But, uh... Anyway, uh, so yeah, this map looks a lot better since I, in my last video, I, I love the fact that it's greened up some, the trees aren't an ugly brown, they're nice and green now, and I'm happy to see the canola is up. Um, 
a lot more work to do on this farm. Um, but my time is divided between uh, Felsbrunn in Europe and my California farm. So I, uh, I'm going to have to figure out which farm I'll be going to next because I think this will probably be the last day for now that I'm here. Um, so I can uh, go plant and do other things at the other farms. I need to watch my uh, boom width here because I got stuff sitting on the road, but looks like the GPS is selling on just barely go by the trailer, which is okay. Yeah, I don't want to be spraying stuff I don't have to spray. So I got ten percent left. That might be enough for one more pass. Wow, this is really wide. <laughs> but yeah, if you have any, uh, if you see anything like any mods or anything, or you have questions, just leave a comment. Um, like this particular sprayer that I'm in is a mod. Um, it's not included with the sim, so... Um, but I'm really loving this. I love all the details, uh, all the little extra things you can do, like uh, adjusting the booms and, you know, using the GPS and the precision farming mod. It's all... It all comes together really, really nicely, it's, uh, which makes me happy. I'm just gonna head over there. Gotta watch that. Don't get too close. And where's my track again? There it is. So I'm just looking for the white line, and then I turn on the steering, and then it does it by itself. There we go. This might be the last pass. So the edges of the field, that's gonna be interesting. I'm gonna have to see if um, how how to fertilize edge of the field without wasting a bunch you know over spraying uh, but yeah just ex trying something different for once uh, like I said this is the first time I've used the spraying spray boom um, so yeah pretty happy so far it's definitely making a difference in the field it looks like we're going to run out just at the end of this track. I probably have the tiniest bit left over. Okay. So, I'm just going to look at the map real quick. Um, let's go to our... Okay, so roughly half the field uh, actually, probably a little bit more than half the field that I've planted um, was one pallet of fertilizer, not including the edge, of course. So really, two pallets of fertilizer uh, is going to do that field. So nitrogen content obviously was uh, nothing, I guess, basically, <laughs> according to the mod or the map. Um, so that's uh, that's good. All right. I'm going to go ahead and fold it up then, I guess. Um, but yeah, it's pretty amazing how wide this thing is. <laughs> I love that, yeah, they've even included all the different nozzles on each, or yeah, all the different nozzles, so. Pretty awesome. I'm very happy with this, with this mod. it will be really nice to see a, a full field of canola with the yellow flowers. up fold it I could go I could get a truck to bring me out a pallet but um, the way things have been going on this particular map uh, a lot of my vehicles have trouble in the fields uh, they sink in uh, so and get stuck or spin out so even the tractors are having a hard time so that's a mod that I have activated is uh, to make driving in you know, field's a little more realistic, but it's, uh, sometimes it's a bit too much, so. 
but I'm just going to take this back, drive this back, and uh, just do one more pallet. So, but yeah, that's awesome. So by the time I'm back at this farm, wherever I, after wherever I go next, uh, this should be pretty far along. And I'm thinking about what other crops I want to do because uh, this is a pretty big map and I've got, I've purchased a couple fields. Um, so I might do, my favorite's canola because I can eventually make fuel out of it, by a diesel. Um, but I would like to maybe try uh, throwing some hay or something since this is quite a couple cow farms in this area. Or straw, one of those. So uh, we'll see how it goes. Typically no traffic on this road either, so <laughs> don't have to deal with that. Plus this thing sounds pretty sweet under full throttle, I will say. Need to figure out how to turn on my beacon late. No, it's, uh, it's probably a keyboard command. So this is currently the kind of shop yard area. I haven't set up a, oh, I haven't set up a base yet, uh, like a home farm. Oh, there's a, okay. But uh, yeah, currently living out of tractor supply, I guess you could say at the moment. Okay, I'm just gonna park this. And I just need to go to the shop menu real quick. These things are expensive too. This is uh, $3,200 for <laughs> some fertilizer. Thread the needle here to these two things, and it's not the most realistic uh, refilling, uh, but I guess you could pretend I've got a hose dipped in the tank. But, you know, it takes about a minute to load it back up. And we're done with that. So yeah, I'll just finish this video off and uh, spray the rest of the field and uh, check that off the box. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I was going to play around with the manure spreading, but um, given the size of some of these fields, I just think it would be uh, kind of just a little bit too much work. Um, but yeah, we'll see. I've also got an excavator uh, for filling up the manure spreader, so that takes a little bit, bit of time too. So I might have to get a wheel loader or something. But yeah, it's, I'm uh, happy to see the wind turbines rotating. The last, the last couple days they were pretty stagnant, so uh, it's cool to see those things going full throttle. Oh, almost. <laughs> Getting close. Uh, which line do I need here? I'm still watching the GPS menu. Uh, might be this one. Okay, let's just get around the get around this wind turbine. Open it up. Steering is on. We got room. Unfold. So 
a lot easier this time. It's lower, as low as it can go. And yep, automatic rate of course. And the speed is set, and we're ready to go. Turn that red into green, right on. I guess uh, I was just thinking I could do, instead of trying to finagle the sprayer around the edges of the field, uh, I could do the manure spreader around the edge of the field and that wouldn't take too long. So I could do that. That could be kind of like my the way I do things since I prefer using the GPS system but of course it's going to have this, uh, this type of situation where it's not going to recognize uh, where I have and haven't sprayed. So rather than be wasteful. There we go. Pretty close, almost. <laughs> Quite some orange dots. Uh, yeah, we're right on the edge. Shut it up there. And I might have to do some. Uh, some manual driving uh, to get the rest of the fields because uh, I don't think the straight back and forth is gonna uh, gonna work. Where's my track over there? There it is. Perfect. Estimate the edge there. There we go. Not too bad. Maybe that's on me. Maybe I should be <laughs> be uh, paying a little closer attention and instead of shutting it off at the end of each row. I'll try that out. I'm making it harder than it needs to be. I could just be doing this. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> uh oh. Hit the wrong button. Damn. What did I hit? Oopsie. Didn't mean to do that. Yeah, well, okay, we're at 23%. Make my turn now. Oh, okay. Ah, a little bit. And it looks like, yeah, we're going to hit the winter turbine now. Okay, I need to get that. Uh, let me get the edge over there. Or maybe, let's see. The rest of this stuff is just going to be kind of a pain. So I could do the manure spreader. I think that's what I'll do. For the small areas that are just aren't worth passing the entire boom over, that's what I'll do. Uh, but right here, this is going to be all manual, so the way it's planted. And I don't have any soil samples in this area either. Oh well. Okay. 
Okay, I'm just going to follow this path. There we go. Yeah, one more. Let's get the uh, all the crops in this area. The one pass. A little bit of overspray on the edges there. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> Getting a little close to the truck. I think that's enough. Alright, I'm just going to fold this up now. That's pretty cool. I didn't realize it would uh, automatically raise the boom up by itself. So that's nice that it does it all by itself. So we got 13% left, um, which I can use at a later date. So yeah, we've got, I don't have anything planted in that one red blotch, so I'm not worried about that, but uh, I need to do a little bit of soil sampling, fill in that blank edge there, and uh, yeah, I'll use the rest of fertilizer once I do some more planting, but I would call this, uh, yeah, this is a win. First time using this particular fertilizing method, so um, that worked. Alrighty, well, thanks for watching, and I'll just cut it off here, and I'll see you in the next one.